Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, abide with us. Now that the sun has run its course, let hope not be obscured by night, but may faith's darkness be our light. Lord Jesus Christ, grant us your peace, and when the trials of earth shall cease, grant us the morning light of grace, the radiant splendor of your face. Immortal, holy, threefold light, yours be the kingdom, power, and might. All glory be eternally to you, life-giving Trinity. The Lord looks tenderly on those who are poor. In the Lord I have taken my refuge. How can I say to my soul, fly like a bird to its mountain? See the wicked bracing their bow. They are fixing their arrows on the string to shoot upright men in the dark. Foundations once destroyed. What can the just do? The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord whose throne is in heaven. His eyes look down on the world. His gaze tests mortal men. The Lord tests the just and the wicked, the lover of violence he hates. He sends fire and brimstone on the wicked. He sends a scorching wind as their lot. The Lord is just and loves justice. The upright shall see his face. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, you search the hearts of all, both the good and the wicked. May those who are in danger for love of you find security in you now and in the day of judgment. May they rejoice in seeing you face to face. The Lord looks tenderly on those who are poor. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. Lord, who shall be admitted to your tent and dwell in the holy mountain? He who walks without fault, he who acts with justice and speaks the truth from his heart, he who does not slander with his tongue, he who does no wrong to his brother, who casts no slur on his neighbor who holds the godless in disdain, but honors those who fear the Lord. He who keeps his pledge, come what may, who takes no interest on a loan and accepts no bribes against the innocent, such a man will stand firm forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Make our lives blameless, Lord. Help us to do what is right and to speak what is true, that we may dwell in your tent and find rest on your holy mountain. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. God chose us in his Son to be his adopted children. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven so immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan he carried out in Christ in the fullness of time to bring all things into him in the heavens and on the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. God chose us in his Son to be his adopted children. A reading from Romans chapter 12. 
brothers, I beg you through the mercy of God to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, so that you may judge what is God's will, what is good, pleasing, and perfect. Lord, you alone can heal me, for I have grieved you by my sins. Lord, you alone can heal me, for I have grieved you by my sins. Once more I say, Lord, have mercy on me, for I have grieved you by my sins. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you alone can heal me, for I have grieved you by my sins. Whatever you do for the least of my brothers, you do for me. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Whatever you do for the least of my brothers, you do for me. Our Lord Jesus Christ has saved us from our sins. As his people, let us call out to him, Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on us. Lord Christ, we pray for your holy church. You gave yourself up to make it holy, washing it clean by water and the life-giving word. Renew it constantly and purify, and purify it by penance. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on us. Good Master, show young people the way you have chosen for each of them. May they walk in it and find fulfillment. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on us. In your compassion you healed all forms of sickness. Bring hope to the sick and raise them up. Teach us to love and care for them. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on us. Make us mindful of the dignity you gave us in baptism. May we live for you at every moment. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on us. May the dead rise to glory in your peace. Grant us with them a share of your kingdom. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on us. Now let us pray as the Lord has taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Savior, bring us back to you, and fill our minds with your wisdom. May we be enriched by our observance of Lent. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.